explore life's train. We're not sure where we're going. We're gonna get there just the same. There'll be a few twists and turns and a few mountain peaks. We're also great to find every now and then. The only way to see this city, it is awesome. You can look out and enjoy the scenery, go complain all along the way. This is the ride of life. You can regret that you don't have the best seat. Or give thanks for each today. Here we are at the Black Pearl of Rogobo, hoping to find a place the fog had lifted after driving through Kowabjik and Zhivagino. We decided to get out of the car and snap a few pics anyway. Happy with what we saw, we drove back to Zhivagino to look for our beach access. Almost every town along Poland's Baltic coast has a resort and spa. As we heard the sand crunching under our feet along this beautiful walkway, it felt like we had the entire town to ourselves as we arrived in the off season to about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So yes, it was very chilly. It was so quiet walking through the pine trees. As we walked, you could even smell fresh cut pine logs. So it was as if the entire forest was speaking to our senses. You know, you had the sense of the cold damp fog air against your face and then you could smell fresh cut pine logs and you could hear the sand crunching underneath of your feet and then your eyes were telling you hey you're getting ready to walk into some very thick fog so it was like everything was just speaking to us it was just really cool It's hard to believe the Baltic Sea is just over this ridge of sand on my right. The fog is so thick you can't really hear anything other than perhaps a little small songbird that's just a couple feet away. The long beach access eventually dumps you into some beautiful thick sand. But all we could really see was fog. We decided to start snapping some pics and Lee did her thing and went one direction and I did my thing and went another direction. I'm telling you guys, this is just amazing. I have never been lost in a fog bank.
so I have actually lost Lee. She has disappeared into the fog bank and I have no idea where she is. There's probably 50, 80 meter visibility and that's about it. I can just hear a foghorn in the distance. It is really tranquil, amazing. Just the lapping of the waves. Yaviglonda moi jona. I see my wife in very, very bad holes. Surprise you. I'm sorry. Oops. Look oh. at what Lee found. It is amber and it is huge. What an amazing find. Wow. How did you find it, Lee? I was taking pictures of the, of the whatever you call that gorgetti going out into mm -hmm. the water. And as I was taking the picture, inside I heard a voice say, you're going to find a piece of amber, so you need to look down and look around because there's going to be a piece right there and sure enough the big piece was right there the big piece was just right there right almost at my feet wow. it's beautiful it is an exciting like amber <laughs> Hard to believe, as loud as a foghorn is, we could barely hear it. We decided to walk over next to the channel to see if we could hear it any better. And as we got closer, then we realized, wow. It's interesting with the loud sound of the foghorn. It was almost like it was signaling to us for something that we were getting ready to see. And yes, that's called a fog bow, which is a real natural phenomenon. Fog has very small water particles and the rays of sunlight illuminate that, forming basically like a, a white cloud and it's called a fog bow across the color spectrum, unlike a rainbow, which has large uh, droplets of water, which are more easily diffused and can be seen by the rays of light in a larger color spectrum. Here we are, heading back. Found some amazing pieces of amber. Lee uh, is the amber magnet. So, eagle eye. That's all I can say is, wow, we got bit by the amber bug pretty bad. It was exciting finding it, and I know we'll be back uh, walking some beaches in the future looking for some more. As we walk back to the car, you can see how the locals use recycled Christmas trees on the left-hand side of the ramp, helping create a natural barrier against storms. Pretty cool use. 
Well, the pine forest and the fog that touched us as we entered was just as enchanting as we departed. This time with rays of sunlight shining through like something out of the Lord of the Rings. Come to Poland, and we're pretty sure you'll find a black pearl somewhere, like the resort in Rogovo or the pirate ship in Gdansk. Or you just might get bit by an amber bug like us. Put Poland on your travel list, and until then, we're sending peace, hope, and love. <laughs>